Hey, what's up, everybody? Scotty, the marketing dude here at Indian Motorcycle of Clarksville. I'm here with Rebecca. Yeah. Rebecca is our Indian Motorcycle rep for this area. She's excellent, and she has brought the new 2025 Indian Scout. This is a Bobber Limited. Yes. Okay, so uh, three tiers of the Scout. What, what, what are the three tiers? We start with the Scout Classic or base model, then we go up to a Limited, and then we go up to Limited with Tech. Okay. So I believe with the Limited, you get the cruise control, you still have the analog display. Yes. Uh, what you else would, do you get? You get USB port. Okay. It comes with traction control. Okay. Um, I think that's pretty much it with the limited. So cruise control. Um, the really big news is with every Scout now, you have a fuel gauge. We have a little cheer for that. Woo. <laughs> and then they also have an oil sight glass so you can check your oil without pulling up the bit stick. Okay, that is nice. Mm -hmm. That is nice. Um, okay, any other notable things? I mean, oh, there's a lot of notable. This there, bike's all new for this year. The bike has completely oh. been redesigned. So it does have a different engine. Okay. So we yeah. did go bigger. Yeah. Because not too much bigger, but the stance and the way the bike handles is going to be very similar to the Classic Scout, just better. That was okay. the whole point, was just to make the bike better than what it was already at. Still the same low seat height? Absolutely. Industry, Different seat? Industry lowest in the industry, yes. right? They like Still in its class. Okay. Industry okay. lowest. Okay. New seat. New seat. More, more comfortable. comfortable. Yes. <laughs> That's a big Can't one. Can't go wrong there. Uh, LED light in the front, yes, right? Yes, all LEDs come standard. And I like that it still looks like a Scout. Absolutely. Um, you were saying that earlier when you were kind of giving us the rundown. Yep. But uh, Indian has stayed true to the Scout. Yeah. Looks just all new, new new steel chassis, right? Yes. Tube chassis. And why would we want a steel chassis? So we can customize it. That okay. I think that's okay. a big thing that's really going to change this bike is we're able to you're able to customize it and really make it your own. Okay. This bike has endless possibilities. Your imagination is the only thing stopping you. I'm pretty excited to ride it. Uh, I'm this, excited to hear you. This ride bike's it. got uh, 105 horsepower, yes. right? Yes. So the big 101, we're looking at 111 horsepower. Correct. And uh, she was just telling me that's a two hundred dollar. We we think it's about a two hundred dollar. About a two hundred dollar upgrade. upgrade to get from the one hundred five up to the one hundred eleven. You can do that on a limited. You don't need you, to have the limited. You plus. can do it on all of it. You can do it on a base model. Yes. Okay. Cool. Uh, another interesting thing you were saying. Uh, so the tiered, the way it works, you got three tiers. You get the base, limited, and then limited plus tech. Yeah. Right. Uh, and I think it's a $1,700 jump from base model all the way up to yes. the top of the line, limited yep. plus so the tech. the top, it's about, yeah, right and about And what is it, 700 bucks to yep. the limited? Yes. And you can basically upgrade any Scout that you yes. get, right? So if you buy the base model, you can... You can add any of the options that are all the way up to the tech level. That's really Unlimited cool. with tech. So if you just want cruise control, you can add that to your base. If you, if there's just, you can pick and choose. But once you start putting the money together, it's pretty easy to go, you know what, let's just go with the limited. Okay. Cool. All right. Well, thanks, Rebecca, for bringing it in My today. My pleasure. I'm going to ride it really quick because I think we got some people interested in riding There's it. There's a couple through. people. <laughs> okay. Like, thanks, right. Rebecca. You're right. awesome. Yeah. And uh, let's get into the ride. And we are off on the all-new Scout. Bobber. This is the limited package. As we weave through... The puddles here at CC Power Sports try not to get the bike too dirty. And uh, we'll get this thing up on the freeway. We'll feel how the new 1250 CC power plant is and uh, test out some cruise control. Kind of a beautiful overcast day. Feels pretty great. So, uh, yeah, the transmission, absolute butter. Shifts feel, like, amazing, super positive, not spongy feeling. Uh, you know, it's kind of the, the feel that you've, well, that I've kind of come to know with all of these Indian motorcycles, but uh, really specifically the Scout line, uh, the, the Challenger, any of the liquid-cooled high-performance motors, uh, they just, I mean, they are that. They are a high-performance V-twin. Uh, I, I, I mean, they they just they feel really good. Um, same kind of low center of gravity feel that you come to expect with any Indian motorcycle. Uh, this thing does come with the forward controls, uh, which I like. Some people like mids, but for me, when I'm on a cruiser or a bobber, you know, I just think number one, I think the styling uh, suits the forward control, but also for long rides, 
Uh, I like my legs to be extended out a little bit. I'm not by any means a tall person. Uh, sitting here with a 29 inch inseam. Kind of a freakish body, five, five foot 11, but uh, 29 inch inseam. So a <laughs> little odd, little odd shaped fellow, but uh, these kind of bikes fit me great. Yeah, I think if you were a taller person, you might be a little more cramped on a scout. Uh, I always recommend that like super tall people, maybe they might, I mean, if they absolutely have to have a scout, there's things you can do to make them fit you better. Uh, but I always maybe try to influence them more towards a Springfield. They're just a longer motorcycle that's going to fit, you know, that person that's, say, 6'3 and above, maybe 6'2 and above, a little better. So this thing does have, you know, full stock exhaust system and anything, everything like that. So it's not really loud, which I like. I'm not like a huge, I'm not a person that has to have a loud motorcycle. I just want the bike to perform well and uh, get me to my destination safely. <laughs> really excited to get this thing on the freeway so we'll do uh, a little test where we kind of roll on the power just see how we kind of roll around people uh, on the freeway and then obviously we will set the cruise control and have that glorious moment uh, where you have cruise control on the scout finally we have cruise control uh, one thing to note when you're looking down here I don't know if you can see that on camera but we do have a spot for buttons. So if you wanted to upgrade to a heated grip, this is already set up where you can add that button right here. So that's a nice feature. Kind of a carryover from the Chief by the looks of it. Um, just, the, you know, the way that uh, you can upgrade this thing. A lot of this is going to be uh, very similar to the Chief lineup. So if you did go to the Limited Plus, you're going to get that 4-inch round smart display. Uh, like you have on the Chief and on the FTR 1200, but it's more specifically the Chief because all of the buttons are going to be the same as the Chief. Um, so the way you control it, uh, you can obviously use the touch screen, but there are also things you can do with the buttons over here on the Chief and on the new Scout um, when we're talking about the limited plus tech package. All right, so we're in six gear. We've got a fuel gauge. That's awesome. Yep. Loads of power. We're putting out 105 horsepower stock. Uh, you can put the 101 tune in this thing and get up to that 111, which is amazing. Uh, we're going to click down on the cruise. I guess we got to push it to turn it on, and then we're going to set it and forget it. <laughs> that is awesome. That is the feature that I feel like every cruiser should have in this day and age. I mean, I almost feel like it's mandatory. It makes on it makes riding on the freeway so much nicer. It's just that extra little bit of rest that you can give your right hand. I'm super, super stoked on it. I have to say, I don't know what much has changed on the rear end as far as suspension is concerned. I mean, I know it's an all-new motorcycle from the ground up, but... I feel like it rides better than the outgoing Scout model. Uh, I've hit a few bumps on the freeway, uh, and it's really absorbed them well. You know, before, I've always said, like, on the Scout, I feel like you have to immediately put the piggyback shocks on them uh, if you want them to ride good. Uh, you know, it's, it's just it's more of a bopping around, you know, 40-minute bike. It's not really designed to be that, like, all-day rider, but I do feel like this bike is a lot more comfortable. That, that could also be coming from the new seat uh, they say the seat is a lot more comfortable than the outgoing model and you know the limited time that I've been on it you know like literally the past five minutes it, I think I can say that it is more comfortable uh, it's got a little bit more support on the tailbone area which I think the stock seat desperately needed and, and I think the comfort seat on the 2020 the 2024 and older Scout is a, a must. I think piggyback shocks and comfort seat are the two things you got to do immediately to that motorcycle uh, to make it really ride a whole lot better. Uh, and I think they angled to correct that with this bike, and so far, I think they have. Of course, I haven't been on it very long. You know, we'd have to do a really lo elongated video to really get that feel down, but the short amount of time I've been on it, I, I've just I've been really impressed. 
So I guess let's talk about uh, the tiered pricing. Um, we talked about it a little bit with Rebecca, but I think it's I think it's important to bring it up again. So you've got your base model pricing. I'll put that right here. So that would be, let's say, just for a basic scout bobber. We're going to do the bobber line because that's what we're riding today. Um, if you want information on the regular scout or the super scout and all that stuff, it's all available at Indian Motorcycle at Clarksville.com. Uh, but we're going to talk about the bobbers in specific. So the scout bobber base is going to be that price right there. So if you wanted to upgrade to the limited, that's going to get you the cruise control and a couple other features that Rebecca mentioned, uh, USB charging, etc. That's going to be a $700 jump to go from the base model to the limited. And if you wanted to just go ahead and say, screw it, I want the full, I want it fully loaded, I want the limited plus tech, that's going to be another $1,000. So you've got a tier, you've got a $700, a $700 jump to the middle, to just the limited, like the motorcycle that we're on. And then if you wanted to get the 4-inch smart display and all of that, then you would have to pay another 1000 so 1700 bucks from base to full limited plus tech. Oh man, this Mustang is going to screw up our corner vibes. Oh well, it feels really good. The lean angle on this thing feels great. I don't know if it's changed that much over the outgoing model. You still keep that low seat height. But uh, these bikes just feel so effortless, leaning them into corners. Yeah, really, really impressed with this motorcycle so far. You know, before I had kind of thought if I were going to get another cruiser, it probably would be a Chief or a Springfield. But now after riding this thing, uh, you know, you, I might go with the Scout because it's it's a little lower price point, And I think it's a bike like you could have multiple motorcycles, you know. Uh, maybe if you're a little more limited on funds, this might be the way to go because you get an awesome bike with cruise control. You can, you know, go on longer rides with your buddies, rest your hand a little bit. turtle <laughs> had to weave out of the way with that turtle there yeah this thing feels great all right well uh if you want one <laughs> give casey a call at 812-948-1621 we can talk you through uh you know the ordering process or uh, when we expect one in, I should say. When, so when, when we actually expect these in the dealership, I believe we're going to have them within a month. Um, so I think, don't hold me to this, but sometime around May, maybe June, but uh, we are going to have them. Uh, if you want to ride one yourself, we are going to have the Indian demo truck at CC Power Sports June 22nd at our open house. Uh, and that Friday before. So the 21st and 22nd, we'll have the Indian demo truck. Uh, you can come and ride any Indian, really. But also, if you missed out on today and you want to ride the Scout, don't miss out. And Jason Britton will also be at the dealership doing stunts, and we'll have food trucks. And, you know, it's, it's a really cool event. Uh, but anyway, thanks, uh, Rebecca, for lending us your motorcycle to ride today. Um, and, uh, yeah awesome the new scout really really excited and privileged to be able to ride this thing